Episode number 15, D'Artagnan Saves the Day. As you recall from our last episode, D'Artagnan had just escorted the Duke of Buckingham and Juliet to the Louvre Palace, which has been chosen as the secret meeting place of the Duke of Buckingham and Her Majesty Queen Anne. This important meeting is so secret that not even His Majesty King Louis knows about it. But something very strange is going on outside the palace where D'Artagnan and his friend Pip are standing guard. Hidden in the bushes is a mysterious stranger closely watching every move that is being made. Who is he and what is he up to? Huh? Hey, Dog Tanyon. What's wrong, Pip? Bend down here. There's someone over in the bushes who keeps staring at us. Yes, I see. Come here, you. Well, don't run away. I want to talk with you. Wait a second, who are you and what are you doing here? Go, Master Dog Tanyon, he's getting away. Hey, he let go of my tail there, no. No! Stop, no, 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 Doing you big lug! Show your face. Why are you watching us? Answer me. Who sent you? Huh? All right, that's a spirit dog, Tanyon. You got him. To the right, to the left, to the right, left, right, left. Use your upper jab. Keep your weight balanced above your feet. Keep your chin up. Up, up. The courage, dog, Tanyon. Courage. <laughs> oh, but life is cold. It's my fate. Should have been born a fish instead of a mouse. Hey, that's D'Artagnan. Yes, fighting a duel. Shall we lend a hand? Sure. One for all and all for one. It's the Three Musketeers. Greetings, friends. I'm glad you're here. Porthos, Athos, Aramis. Come off, you oh, stupid hat. Hey, he's vaulted over the palace gates. Oh, stop, you. Why run away? What are you trying to hide? Scaredy dog, you're not gonna get away with this because someday I'll find out who you are. I promise you. Dog Tanyon, tell us of your encounter. That sneaky fellow was hiding in the bushes spying on me. Who? That fellow with the black mask? Yeah, that's him. When I wasn't looking, he ran and got away from me. Hmm, now that is a pity that he got away. I would have made certain that he no longer stuck his snout where it wasn't wanted. Do you know who the masked man is working for, my friend? I don't have the faintest idea. 
But to tell you the truth, I don't think that it is me that he wants, but rather Juliet and the Duke of Buckingham, who just went into the palace. You're sure? A man who wears a mask would seem to be the type who would spy on secret meetings, in this case, the Duke of Buckingham and dear Queen Anne. Hmm. Maybe he's one of the many spies of that bully Cardinal Richelieu. His behavior leaves us very little reason for doubt. One thing is for sure. He certainly knows his job. He is clever and slippery, and he handles the sword with the same expertise as you, Dog Tanyon. Why don't we hurry inside the palace and unmask that intruder, huh? Without a pass, not even the musketeers of His Majesty the King can enter the palace. Oh, uh, a spy in the palace, and there's nothing we can do. Rules and regulations must be respected, my friend. And I let him go. I know! We can ask Monsieur Treville to give us an entrance pass. Oh, do you really think Monsieur Treville will do it? I'd bet my last franc we have his trust. Hmm. Of all the solutions, this one seems the soundest. We will tell the captain everything that has happened and let him decide. Are we in agreement, Cadet Dog Tanyon? Sure. Oh, Pip, where are you, Pip? Huh? What happened? It's about time you took a bath, Pip. <laughs> what are you laughing about? It's not a bit funny. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Pip. Now go find Juliet and tell her that a suspicious-looking fellow who may be a spy has entered the palace. With pleasure, Dog Canyon. Good luck. Bye. Bye. The news that the secret meeting between the Duke of Buckingham and Her Majesty Queen Anne is taking place has found its way to the secret hideaway of the cunning Cardinal Richelieu. Hmm. The fact that the Duke of Buckingham is in the Louvre Palace does not make my job any easier. I can only beg forgiveness. You know that it gives me no pleasure to bring these bad tidings, but good fortune has not been on our side. I've done everything possible to prevent this meeting. Curses, you stupid fool. I don't think you quite understand how serious this is. At this very moment, the greatest danger is to France itself. Mm -hmm. <coughs> ah. I must find out what those two are up to. Then I'll know how to use it to my favor. Is His Majesty aware that the two of them have met your eminence? The king knows nothing. And even if he knew, he doesn't have the brains to do anything about it. His royal majesty hasn't the brain of a bird! <laughs> I can't believe that the Duke of Buckingham and the Queen are meeting secretly in the palace. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it! I hate him! I'll get you, Buckingham! I'll make dog food of you if you interfere with me! Poor Cardinal Richelieu. He is angry and frustrated because he cannot think of a way to stop the secret meeting between the Duke of Buckingham and Queen Anne. Richelieu is anxious that this meeting may interfere with his own cunning scheme, unless he can find out what the Duke and Queen are up to and use it to his own greedy advantage. But how can he find out without sending someone inside the palace? Ah, but there is someone inside the palace, sneaking through hallways and corridors, who has already located the one room in this huge building where the meeting is taking place. The sly and skillful masked man is on the prowl. If he overhears their conversation, will he expose them? And if he does, what will be the consequences? Can Dog Tanyon and the three musketeers get permission from Monsieur Treville to enter the palace in time to seek out and foil the plans of the intruder? Can they save the Duke of Buckingham and Queen Anne from being found out? Enter, my lord. I beg you to have the kindness to wait a moment. I will notify the Queen of your arrival. Are we in the private chambers of Her Majesty the Queen? Yes. My lord, Her Majesty will arrive presently. Hmm. The Duke is left alone in the Queen's chambers. Or is he? Could the sly masked man be concealed somewhere, waiting for an opportunity to overhear this royal rendezvous? Ah, Your Majesty. It 
so good to see you. With your permission, Your Majesty, I find you more beautiful every time I see you. Thank you, my lord. Your words are very kind, but you exaggerate. No, Majesty, I promise you I am not exaggerating, for you are a hundred times more beautiful than you were at our first meeting three years ago. I pray you do not go on. Tell me about your trip. Have you had any encounters with the Cardinal's guardsmen since you came to France? None whatsoever. Hopefully the Cardinal doesn't even know I'm here, but with his network of spies, you never know. I did have an amusing encounter with a young lad called Dog Tanyon, who was madly in love with your lady-in-waiting. How could they possibly live in such a big house? They must use a compass and a map to make it around this place. But I must find Juliet, and I must do it immediately. <laughs> Very humorous. You know how glad I am to see you, but you should not have come to France. You have too many enemies here. When you wanted to come back as ambassador, the king himself opposed your appointment. I know, and that action could be the cause of new hostilities. I wanted to remain in France, but your husband's refusal to allow me the post of English ambassador to France could provoke a war. Oh, no, not that. And that would mean I wouldn't be able to see you. Oh, please don't speak as if our meetings are anything but affairs of state, my lord. You know that I will always be true and faithful to my husband. Yes, I know that. And for that, you have my deepest respect. But as for my feelings, merely being able to enjoy your company is enough for me. As for the war, I shall do everything in my power to prevent it. Finally, I found her! I'm the smartest mouse in the world! <laughs> Juliet! <gasps> Mademoiselle Juliet, it's very important that I talk to you. How did you get in here? You know you cannot enter the palace without special permission, don't you? You don't need special permission if you're a mouse. Now listen, I have a message. There's a masked man snooping around here. Ah, he might be an agent of Cardinal Richelieu. I must notify the queen at once. He could be in there listening to everything. <laughs> Then please, may I have something, something I may treasure as a sign of our mutual friendship? A ring, perhaps? A bracelet? Something that I may keep? Grant me this request, and with your permission, I shall return immediately to England. Mm. What's going on, Juliet? What are you doing here? I'm sorry, Majesty, but I've been informed that a masked man has entered the palace, possibly following the Lord. Who is he? It might be one of Richelieu's spies. I'll leave right now. Hey! Juliet, look! There he is behind the curtain! Huh? I've got you, you sneak! Hey! <gasps> you won't get away! Outside the chamber. The guards are all chasing that man. My lord, do not hesitate. You must leave at once. But I must attend Her Majesty. Don't worry. <coughs> Go ahead. I'll make sure Her Majesty is all right. You must be on your way before you're discovered. If they find you in the chambers of the Queen, Her Majesty will be ruined. You're quite right. You are a gentleman, Pip. I am very grateful. Now hush. Away with you and make it fast, will you? Majesty, wake up, please. You'll have to appoint me as the royal pillow. Wake up, your majesty. Rise and shine. Don't you know we're in big trouble? She sleeps like a royal log. Huh? In desperate times of trouble, good behavior is outweighed by the need for quick action. Oh my, where am I? What happened? Oh.
The Duke wasn't seen leaving, I hope. Relax, Majesty. My lord is in a very safe place. Ah, oh, thank heavens. I'm very grateful. I was so frightened. I feared that His Majesty would learn of our meeting. You need not worry, Majesty. The King has been busy all day in a very important meeting. <sighs> you cannot imagine how relieved I am. The Duke confessed that the main reason he came was not affairs of state, but to see me, which I'm afraid that under the circumstances he'll never be able to do again. As he was leaving, the Lord confessed the exact same fears to me. That reminds me of the promise I made to the Duke. Please, Juliet, would you deliver something for me with this letter? Yes, Majesty. should fall into unfriendly hands, I shall be ruined. Promise not to lose them. Fear not. Wait a moment. These are for the Duke. But, unless I'm mistaken, those are the diamond studs which His Majesty gave you for a present. That is so, Juliet, the most valuable of all my jewels. But I am more concerned about peace between France and England than beautiful gems. I want you to deliver them personally to the Duke of Buckingham with the letter. And tell him that I, Anne of Austria, give them to him as a present, as a symbol of peace and friendship. I understand, Majesty. Thank you, Juliet. I know that I need not tell you the harm my enemies might cause me if they find this letter or these jewels. Are you willing to do this for me? I am. Meanwhile, at the secret hideaway of Cardinal Richelieu... Are you certain of it, Rochefort? Yes, Eminence, I am completely certain. The information comes directly from one of the servants who works inside the royal palace. Hmm. We must seize that package before it is delivered to the Duke of Buckingham. And this time I don't want any foul-ups from you, Widemere. Take care of this matter, understand? Right! And so Juliet is on her way to carry out her secret mission. But what danger will she face in the attempt? Can the Queen's enemies prevent Juliet from delivering the package? Certainly they will try. You do like to be brushed, don't you, Sandy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Whittemer and his guards are after Juliet. I must notify my master at once. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Sorry to disturb you, sir, but Widemer is chasing Mademoiselle Juliet. Did you say Widemer? Little does Juliet realize she is being followed by Captain Widemer and the Cardinal's guards. Can D'Artagnan get there in time to prevent them from stealing the package? This is an ideal place to get the package from her. Go take it. Mm hmm. Hey, you, stop. Oh, what do you want? All we want, mademoiselle, is that letter and package. Oh, no! Help! Help somebody! It's no use shouting. No one can hear you. Oh. Give me that! Oh, never! Help! Who? Who are you? Hey, what the... What the devil? Where did you come from? Speak up! Who are you, you masked madman? Take care of him! Whoa, here I come! Hurry, D'Artagnan! Oh. What? Ah. Let Juliet go or else, you cur! Please be careful! Here, with him I. I have them now, Widemer. You've done an excellent job. Ha! They stole the letter and the package! Don't forget, Tom Rochefort, to tell the Cardinal of my part in this. And now let's go! Retreat! <laughs> it's the spy! Way! <gasps> huh? But I heard you say that he stole a letter and a package. But it was only a decoy. Huh? Queen gave me a letter and package that weren't the real ones. Oh, you mean those were phonies? <laughs> <laughs> Imbecile! Do you recognize this? This is what you are so proud to bring me. Read it, you fool! Mm. And are these supposed to be the diamond studs? They are nothing but cheap, ugly stones. Huh? 
And if you thought what you took was real, then you have your just reward because you steal. It does no good breaking the rules for you'll wind up playing the fool. What is the meaning of this eminence? It means that you're completely useless, you idiot. What? Get out of here! Get out of my sight! Cardinal Richelieu's scheme has been foiled. The Queen was too clever for him. Expecting foul play, she sent Juliet with a fake package. Fortunately, Juliet is unharmed, and the real diamond studs and the letter are delivered successfully to the Duke just in time for his departure. But one question is still left unanswered. Who is the masked man? And whose side is he on? Thank you so much for everything, Dog Tanyon. Your behavior was magnificent. You are a very brave young man. It was a pleasure, sir. And for oh. your heroic deeds, Dog Tanyon, I present you with this dagger that bears my family's coat of arms. Thank you. It's beautiful. Magnificent. If you ever are in England and find yourself in a desperate situation, just show this dagger and it will help you. I'm very grateful to you, my lord. Does that make you happy, Dog Tanyon? Of course. The spy wearing the mask! This time you won't get away from me, blast you! Wait a minute, Dog Tanyon. That man wearing the mask is my escort. What? The fact of the matter is that I did not know he was in France myself until I saw him at the Louvre Palace. You mean he's one of your men? Precisely. He's my protector. But I did not know myself that he was in France until I saw him there. Mon Dieu! By all the mice in France! I have never in my life come across such a presumptuous fellow! Pip, I know someone who's even more snobby than he is. You! <laughs> we leave our friends on a happy note. Cardinal Richelieu's scheme has failed, so the meeting between the Prime Minister of England and the Queen of France will remain a secret. Now the Duke can leave happily for England with a beautiful memento of his friendship with the Queen, and more importantly, a symbol of the friendship between their two countries. We can be sure that a strong belief in the Musketeers' motto helped our friends in the battle they've won, for they have sworn one for all and all for one. In our next episode, the Queen is given cause to worry about the gifts she has given the Duke of Buckingham, for the diamond studs were a special gift to her from His Majesty the King. Cardinal Richelieu finds out that the diamonds are in the hands of the Duke and will try to embarrass the Queen by involving her in a scandal.